Today I'd like to show you how to make a banner for your social media page using canva.com. Canva is a fantastic resource for people who want to make their own graphics but may not have the graphic design program such as Photoshop or be a graphic designer. Canva let you use some templates that they have already set up for you so that your work looks professional, your pages look coherent and your social media sites all look like they're part of the same brand. It's a really great resource and I want to step you through one of the most simple things to do which is creating a banner. If it's your first time joining us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos from us. And if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that you've liked this video. Okay, so let's jump right in together and I want to show you how to do it. Let's go to canva.com and once you're at this website, it's going to prompt you to sign up. So go ahead and create an account and I'll see you on the inside. Okay, here we are on the inside of my canva.com account. And as you can see, they give you a ton of templates straight off the bat that let you dive right in and create something really new and shiny for yourself. So you can see they have posters, great presentation templates. This one here is one of my favorites. It is a great way to make some Instagram posts that have text over some images that you already have. Have a look in here at everything that you can do and definitely come and play and spend some time creating something nice for your account. But for today's video, I want to work with you and show you how to make this one right here, which is the Facebook cover. So I'm going to click that and it's going to open up into a new tab, a blank canvas, letting us make this banner together. Something that is important to do is Keep on top of Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, and all that kind of stuff. Keep on top of their dimensions because they're often changing what is required of an image in order to use it as a cover photo, as a profile photo, as a video dimension, all of those things. And the easiest way to do that is just type into Google what are the Facebook dimensions and have a look at the most recent dates and make sure that your image is the right size for the date. So back over we go to our blank canvas and I want to show you what we do now that we're on the inside. Over here on the left you can see straight off the bat they give you some templates to use. So you can scroll down and look at something that sparks your interest. There is a fall theme, there's a little arrow here to the right that let you scroll through some fall themes which is really cute. There are some birthday ones, beauty Facebook templates. Definitely look through these and see if any jump out to you and your brand. If you're not confident coming up with some ideas, using a template is definitely a great option because it takes all of that thinking work out and you can go with something that you just love the look of. So let's scroll together until we find something that we like the look of. Something to note is that unless you want to come over here and use Canva Pro, which is a paid service, you want to choose something that has this free icon down on the bottom right hand side. Canva do have a ton of free options, so unless you do want to come over here and pay, make sure that the one you're trying to use is for free. Let's use this one right here as our example because I like the color palette and I think it's going to do the job for us to edit together. So once you've picked one that you like, simply click and drag it, drop it onto the canvas and it is all ready to be customized. Canva work by putting a ton of elements onto the canvas that are all interchangeable. So this splodge right here, you can see as I hover over them, these are the dots, it's selected those. If I hover over the splodge, it'll select those. If I click, it'll bring up a personal menu for that element up the top. So you can change the position, how transparent it is if you want it a little lighter. See if I slide that bar, it gets a bit lighter. It also lets you come in here and choose exactly what color you want each element to be. You can choose some random colors down here from the color wheel. You can come in here and choose any color that you like. Or if you're not confident choosing colors that might go well together, you can use the ones that are within the theme that you have chosen, which is a really great thing. 
So let's say we spent a lot of time in here together, choosing each element and making sure it fit on our canvas. And now we're ready to interact with the text. All you have to do to change the text is double click on it and it opens up this text box here. So let's type in something that might pertain to a business. Great, and let's play around with the font here. You can come up the top, choose any font that you might want. I'm going to choose that one. You can make the text box bigger by dragging it up, or you can choose the size of your font up here with these numbers right there. Let's say I'm not happy with the text here for hot dogs. So I can click on that element and hit the delete key and it's just gonna remove it from our template. It's as easy as that. I wanna bring in some new text. So let's click this text option on the left. And you can choose for some really cool looking, often interactive texts to choose from. Let's bring in this one here. I love the yellow, so paste that right there. And we're gonna change the words to hot dogs. You can click on that and drag the corners to make it a little bit smaller. Line it up in the middle. So these guides here, these lines that keep popping up are guidelines. So they let you line everything up so that it's neat. A lot of aesthetic stuff comes from things being in line with each other and it can look more professional if it's all centered and lined up. So you can just drag this all the way across until you see that line in the middle pop up. And that lets us know that that has lined up straight in the middle of our canvas. If you want to change the background, you can click that area in the space. You can see this light blue line going all the way around the outside. Do the same thing as we did for those elements and change the, the background color. And just for fun, I want to show you that you can bring in your own content as well. So if you have a logo or if you have an image that you want to use specifically on your banner, come over here to uploads. You can click upload an image or video and select a file that you'd like to use inside your banner. You can see over here it's coming to our gallery. And once it's ready and been uploaded, you can just drag that content into your page, resize, and have it be pasted right in like that. Once you're completely happy with what you've made, come up the top here and press this download button and it will walk you through how to save it to your desktop. So then you have a fully completed banner saved to your computer, ready to upload to your social media page. So come in and spend some time in Canva, have a look at their templates and see if you can make yourself a brand new banner for your company.